our goal here is to try to get these victory points. And in order to do that, we've got to get our army in here. Why do you have to attack this wall today? I had plans and you ruined them. Oh, he's terrified. So he's out. Nice. So by terrifying him, we were able to dominate him. That was actually a Shadow Strike Dominate, which is one of the skills. So he was low enough in level, we've done enough damage with that Bale Fire, that we were, we were able to use the new ring to dominate his mind. And this is actually how you build your army in the open world. You identify the Orc Captains and War Chiefs that you want to be in your army, fight them for a bit, get them low enough in health, dominate them, and then bring them over to your army. And you can identify the guys that you want based on their skill set. In this case, we're early enough on, and we're going to recruit him. And he's going to stay and fight with us, which will definitely help. Let's get out of the bale fire, though. We've got a guy bleeding out already. Once we get a chance, we'll help him out. Nice. The guys take they've taken down the wall. That helps a lot. Get rid of some of these archers. Nice. Whoa, there's the Drake. The Drake will also get rid of some archers for us. And we've now seen since they've broken the wall, our army has taken over this victory point pretty quickly. So really, breaking down those defenses really helps in how fast you can get through these things. I hear a Drake. Nice. There he is. He's on the ground. Oh yeah! So by doing enough damage to him, we should be able to dominate him. Only one war chief remains. Wow, our guys have already killed another one of the war chiefs. Thanks, Kelebrimor. That Drake was not happy with getting shot, that's for sure. Time's running out. Soon there'll be no place for you to scurry and hide. So by helping these guys out, they'll remember that. And that will be a part of their history. And they'll be more likely to help us out when we need it. So we've been able to take the second victory point. Whoa, sappers! That dude! Did we bring sappers? So one of the war chiefs is bringing sappers with him, and they're just randomly blowing themselves up. And we ran into one! Where's that Drake? He's out. It's okay. So our army's taking on this second, this third victory point. Ooh, in the throat. All right, so we've lost one war chief to them. We have another one bleeding out. They're gonna need our assistance. I think they're getting taken out by those siege beasts. Yeah. Took it in the face from the grog. There's no coming back from that. 
Well, Mordor, death is not the end. Unfortunately, death means that all these dudes are leveling up. So we failed the siege, but we did take out one of their war chiefs. And we've seen a bunch of things update. All right, so are we going to go back in? Or do you want to take... Oh, wait, should we ask? Let's ask. All right, so there's two things we can do right now. We can go back in and just straight try to do it. We have about 12 minutes. Or we can try to take out a couple of these war chiefs on their own, sort of more in the open world portion of it. So it's up to you guys. What do you guys want to do? Go back in or take them out? Go back in. All right, let's do it. You're like, oh, well, maybe we could do the other one. That sounds pretty cool, too. It is cool. But we like... We like taking out war chiefs. <sighs> Little double jump. We've definitely updated and improved a lot of the movement through the world. Making it a little bit quicker and easier to navigate. I'm not given the sh same spiel. I gave it five minutes ago. Same stuff happens except now, if you see on the right hand side, they're missing one of their war chiefs. Which means that upgrade isn't going to be there, and that was uh, fire spouts. So they will not have fire spouts on their walls. That grog. Straight to the face. You can't even get revenge on grogs. That's the worst part. You just gotta live with that. And you're gonna have to live with this guy giving us a hard time about losing. Look who's back! Yep. While you were fleeing in terror, we were busy. We buried your dead. We braced the walls. And we sharpened our blades for another go round. Just keep marching closer. And we'll pick up the slaughter where we left off! Just ten paces closer, fools. Then we'll unleash a wave of death in fire like you've never seen. All Mordor will shake as we crush you beneath our boots. I'll be so happy when he's dead. Just say the word and that fort will fall. Where were you? End of him! And the last fort in Mordor! I didn't see either of these guys. They were just chilling outside or something. Just bring out the big guns. thinks he can take our fort! Well, we'll have his heart for supper! So I only went straight to the second victory point, but you see in the background, our troops, <laughs> as we execute with a grog, our troops are taking the first victory point for us. There we go. So we broke him down again, we're able to dominate him. Yep. You will be gone. So by doing this, we've taken the second war chief, and he's now ours. So he'll help us take this point a little bit faster. And you see in the background, point A is now ready to be captured. So the rest of our army has already started to move on to the second point. Now I see one of those molly daggers outside. Oh, he fled out! Instead, you summoned a Karagor. <laughs> 
Oh, that was the dude with the white dreadlocks. Aww. He had been around for a while. You don't get white hair as an orc when you're, when you're young. It takes a while. There's one of our war chiefs. There's the other one. There's the hairy dude. All right, let's capture this. The endless buzzing of the swarm. The flies sing into my deafened ears. Their bristling legs tickle my scalp. Their tiny this jaws dude is disgusting. rend my flesh. And now you will bask in the glory of the infestation. That dude had a bee's nest on his face. So this is Elven Rage. Ellie got her wrath meter up super high and allows her to do Elven Rage, which does an insane amount of damage to a lot of guys and immediately broke the face. There is no way we were gonna dominate. I'm not touching, we're not touching that face. That was you disgusting. Because you lack the stomach for pain, pink skin. Here, I'll show you your stomach and you'll see what I mean. So we've captured all three victory points in the second run through. We can now try to take down the Overlord. We have three minutes and 52 seconds. We've done it faster, but only once. And it really depends on the Overlord because they're all unique and different. We have no idea what this fight's gonna be like. We have a general idea because you're fighting orcs and fighting orcs is fighting orcs. But his traits and abilities are based on how he's made his way up through the Nemesis system. So he's gonna, and he's already, he's got mines. Uh, he's gonna be different than any of the other fights we had today. A lot of mines. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You've made it all the way here, only to discover that you're outclassed. Frankly, you don't stand a chance against me. I'll be happy to prove you wrong. In exactly three minutes. <laughs> So he's got a Karagor, he's got a fiery weapon, he's a defender, he's got mines. You know what, that mine took two thirds of your health. What is going on? Why is everyone on fire? Why are you on fire? That was because of his traps. Somebody's got exploding things. If I, that's the technical term, things. That's the heavy weapon, by the way. It's new to Shadow of War. Immune to execution. Oh boy. And of course they have shields, so that doesn't even damage them. No! We can roll through fire. So we have a minute 30. 
Ellie's a killy heel, we need to get some of those arrows. Nice. Get a little help. Where is he? Oh. Oh, he's got grenades. That's why people keep blowing up. Charge shot. So close. Oh! You got it, you got it, you got it. That is awesome. And he's covered in poison from your charge shot. What are we doing to this guy? Before we say, we're recruiting? We're recruiting. Yeah! I add you to my Woo! All right, stream, thank you very much. Someday you'll get to see the end of this, I promise. It's super cool. But instead, have a good day. Wave goodbye to stream, guys. So by defeating the Overlord, you've taken over his fortress. This region is now yours. No house we lights, have by taken the way. his fortresses and made them our own. Thank you. Now we stand at the very edge of history. Only one conquest remains, and Mordor will be ours. So you've captured the fortress, defeated this guy. But the most important part is you have taken this region from Sauron. So on the Mordor map, this region is now yours. It's blue. So now Sauron, he's going to be a little pissed. Well, we got some rewards. Those are great. But really what we need to do is we need to set up this fortress in this region to defend against his fortress, his forces. Because he's going to send them back to try to get this stronghold back. And we're going to have to defend in this, from forces attacking it in the same way we just did. So in order to do that, we can put one of our war chiefs in as the overlord. And this is where it gets cool, because each of these guys' tribes and traits changes the environment that we're in. And so depending on which tribe and what their traits are, there will be different missions, different loot, and different things to do within this region. So in this case, we're going to do a machine. Sweet. So Luga. This is also a great way to reward your guys because they level up. Look, he just got some sweet ass new armor. That's awesome. So he's the new overlord. We've promoted a couple war chiefs and we now can defend this fortress. And at the same time, Ellie can go off and explore all the new opportunities that have now opened up. You guys, thank you very much. You are an awesome audience. This is the end of the presentation. Have a good E3. Thank you, Ellie. Tried to humiliate me. You left your mark on me, but it didn't work. You burned my mind. Die! I'll kill you! Until this moment, you have not known suffering. So now I'm gonna kill you for all these orcs to see. Always said you were an optimist. Know what that is, mate? It's about sizing up a situation that's bloody impossible and saying, yeah, all right, I'll have a go. I'm exactly the same way. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike DePlata, VP of Creative at Monolith Productions. In Shadow of Mordor, we introduced the Nemesis system, creating unique personal stories for every player. 
and in Shadow of War, we're expanding the Nemesis system enormously. Two of the new features we're most excited about are forging an army of followers and Nemesis fortresses. Our goal right now is to use the Ring of Power and recruit this Olog, Bruce the Chopper, to expand our army. Then we're going to assault a fortress controlled by one of Sauron's overlords. Reckon you're going to skewer me? Ah, that little sword's good for a tickle, maybe. But you're going to need more than that to take me down. Nice one, Ranger. This has never happened to me before. Dark Lord, same thing really. End results me ripping spines out, which I like to do anyway, so either way's a win. A fine addition to our army. Name's Bruce. From here on out, I will be your shadow. No one gets to you without my say-so. Don't worry about my enemies. They will all follow eventually. You want to plant your flag in uh, Mordor, you'll need to do it deep. There's a fortress nearby. They say it's ruled by a two-headed troll big as a mountain and deadly smart. Which, well, I guess he'd have to be given the two heads. You take him down, you'll send a message to Sauron and get yourself some nice new digs as part of the bargain. I'm not going to do this alone. Gather your troops. We'll do. Oh, just make sure you let me pop his heads off, won't ya? We already had a few loyal followers in our army, like Boobol the Undaunted and Az Tamo Rockskull. Recruiting Bruce means we're ready to assault the fortress and overthrow the Overlord. We're expanding the open world of Mordor to highlight some lesser-known regions like Saragost and Kirith Ungol. Mordor is a massive, living, breathing world filled with orc society, tribes, wildlife, as well as stories and secrets. You cleave me in two. Any other orc would have died, but I survived. More than that, I thrived. My brothers put me back together, stronger than ever. But they didn't make me into what I am. You did. You created the machine. No! We just got ambushed by the machine. He's cheated death and tracked us across Mordor seeking vengeance. He's from one of the seven orc tribes we've added to the Nemesis system. The machine will grind you to paint! I hate big things! Cool, finally! Instead of killing the machine, we're going to dominate him so we can take advantage of his abilities alongside drakes, grounds, and other beasts during the fortress assault. There are millions of ways to forge your story and conquer Mordor. I add you to my ranks! I swear my allegiance! Before we charge headfirst into the assault, we should plan our attack. This overlord and his war chiefs bring poison spouts to the fight, but Bruce is bringing sappers with him to counter those defenses. We've selected our followers, and now we'll start the assault. Actually, I don't know a single word, which is a pain in the ass, but to hazard a guess, he said you're all gonna die horribly. Yeah, my kind of black. 
Well, I will handle the Overlord. You focus on the Defenders. Divine focus. ways to forge your story and conquer Mordor in Shadow of War. Thank you very much. How much are you willing to sacrifice? To suffer. I have given up everything. Not everything. like my brothers at the Black Gate. We need to build our army. This is just the beginning. Sauron will not stop until all the Middle Earth is dominated. We do not serve the Dark Lord! We'll take this land for our own! You fight for Mordor! You fight for the Bright Lord! What new devilry is this? I come for you, Towns of Gondor! Try not to kill him too quickly. Message. I come for him! 